Mamba, 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 all right so my garage is only you know that much bigger than the length of the car so but to be able to walk around the car and and get outside the garage I need the car pushed as far forward now what's been happening is I go so far forward, I hit the wall. And then you got to back off a little bit. Only slightly hit the wall, but, you know, you hit the wall. So, I've created this sensor that as soon as you come up close enough to it, the light will come on. And then you can just back off a bit and it goes off. This is how I built it. Alright, this is straight off the printer. This is the third time I had to try to get to print. And I've already noticed I've made a mistake. But, hopefully... It um, doesn't work too bad. So, the mistakes that I thought I made, well, they're not the mistakes I thought I had. The Arduino fits on there perfectly nice and snug on the pins that I put in for it. But what I thought I got right was this relay. I had to snap off two of the pins. But um, I'll just glue it on. Alright, the code itself is pretty simple. I've got uh, three pins uh, that I'm using, three variables, small bit in the setup. Now if you want some more sort of in-depth information, I've got another video linked in the cards right now which will show you how to use the ultrasonic sensor and there will be also another one there about how to use a relay. So you can just sort of look at that. The only thing that's really different about this one is I've got some control code for uh, the distances. So basically if I'm closer than 120 millimeters it's going to turn the light on by making that relay pin go high. It's going to delay for a second and then move on. If I'm greater than 121 it's going to go low so the, the, the light's going to be off. And um, that's it. The rest of this stuff's commented out. You don't need it. Um, and then I've got a small delay there, so it doesn't you know, run really fast. That's it. All right, down in the comments below, you'll see there's some files linked. Now you can download those. That's the the code that I've used. I'll have an image of the wires, wire connections, and I'll have the STL file for the enclosure if you wanted to print that. If this video was helpful for you, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And um, I'll know to do more.